<laughs> Hello, people. We're laughing because we're looking at us in the uh, screen and we're like, <laughs> we have weird sweaters on. But I mean, that's that's what we do here. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so just in case you haven't watched any of the other Schecter videos, I'm going to ho- do my whole. Do you want to do the whole why we're doing this thing? I've yes. done it twice. You go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you people are always complaining because Henning only does... <laughs> well, uh, you tell them I get coffee. <laughs> okay. He only does ex- uh, reviews of expensive guitars. And he says that's normal because brands want me to review their best guitars. That's why they're expensive. So today we're going to review cheap or affordable guitars so you're more happy. <laughs> But Henning is now in getting is now getting some coffee, so um, I'll explain. Who you are. <laughs> We're going to review uh, a Schecter, uh, Schecter guitar. Uh, the particular model is uh, from the Omen series. It's a beautiful fixed bridge guitar, six string with two humbuckers that you're about to see because we're now doing. Um, unboxing of it so you will be able able to see our first impressions uh commenting and um, you know just sharing with you what you think about it i can hear the nespresso machine of henning <laughs> or maybe he's uh uh i don't know maybe make, maybe making some chocolate hot chocolate or something i hope he takes bring something for me too All right, now I'm going to tell you why I'm here talking to you. I am Miki from the Spanish website and YouTube channel Guitaristas.info. Guitaristas.info, where you can see reviews in Spanish. Uh, We do articles talking about gear, pedals, amps, guitars, and all those things, all those toys that you like so much. That's why I'm here. I can see you, Annie. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my coffee is done. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll wait for the coffee. I, I can't wait to see this this sector guitar, Henning. Are you excited? I'm excited. He's excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> All right. Seriously, uh, I'm so into metal, so I'm really interested in knowing how this guitar performs. I want to thank my buddy Marty from Schecter because I called him up and said, Hey Marty, um, I'm not going to charge you anything for the videos, even though usually, you know, I get, yes, people, I get paid for what I do. Boo hoo. Um, if you then, if because of that you don't trust me, hit the stop button. It's very easy. You can trust me, but you don't know me. They don't know me, so no, well, why would they trust they me? me. But I know you. I know you. <laughs> but for these videos, I'm not getting paid. I just have the guitars here for you. I don't even get to keep them. I got nothing. This is just to test them for you, which is what we're doing now. And we're actually testing them with amps that are realistic for the price range of where the guitar is. Um, we're going into the Amelia from uh, Jet City, which is about 569 or something. Mm-hmm. The um, Blackberry 200 from Houston Ketner, which is 799 But that's a realistic amp because it's an all-in-one kind of an amp that someone that buys this guitar might have. Um, and also a little bit more for 899 we have the Laney LA30BL, which is a great pedal platform, so we're testing that. Everything else I have is way more expensive and wouldn't make sense. So, That's it. Um, let's take that out of the box. All right. I'm curious, we haven't taken that out of the box, Okay. which means we'll test how it's going to um, be tuned, which... It's a bad idea to do that. <laughs> um, we'll check the tuners, um, look for flaws, All right. everything. Check the guitars always come in boxes, uh, no gig bags or cases unless you go custom shop, which is a bummer, but in $4.69 price range is totally okay. Mm-hmm. I like the weight, it's not ridiculously heavy. Okay. And here we go. And we'll take this off, even though the distributor will not be happy about that. <laughs> The color is very beautiful so far. I like this super bright cherry. Well, this is light. Whoa. Yeah, I would. Yeah, really light. When I describe Shrek guitars to people, I always said they feel heavy and the sound feels heavy and very solid, kind of like a like a brick. Sound like a brick, but also guitars like a brick. Well, that impression I don't have about this in terms of the weight. Okay. Also, look at the depth of that veneer. Yeah. That's nice. I'm gonna do a human slider. That's a very, how about you hold it there and then it's actually a slider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Give me that. All right. Cause that's right there. Beautiful. 
That is actually a really deep veneer. The others are, yeah, this, didn't feel that deep. No. This, this feels more like an actual top. Yeah, it's way more three-dimensional, this, this one. Very nice. Yeah. Um, instead of individual holes in the back, we have a back plate here. Okay. A little bit of a uh, lower axis heel, but I mean, there's still a big step here. Hmm. What do you think they chose to use a plate? No Come idea. Okay, which is weird because the other two guitars we just did didn't okay. have that. Um, we have a scarf joint, uh, teta de guitarra. Teta de guitarra. De, gu de guitar, <laughs> not del, de. De guitarra. De guitarra. Guitar teeth is teta. Teta. De. De. Guitarra. Guitarra. Perfect. Okay. That's fine. Guitar teeth. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is, I'm not into red, but this is pretty. All right. Let's look. Uh, we have a cream binding. Mm -hmm. with centered dots right there. Cream binding with centered side dots. Nifty, um, like a stop tail with string through and furules in the back. Right there, pretty nice. Um, standard jack plate. Uh, what else? I'm gonna go with probably a... It's on the Toma website, it doesn't say GraphTech Tusk. It said that on the others. Okay, so we must assume this is plastic, probably. Hmm? This is plastic then? I, I don't know, maybe we, either, they, mention. either they didn't mention it. Oh, okay. uh, 24 uh, frets, 25.5 uh, inch scale, which is 648 millimeters, but these are, this tells you nothing. It tells me nothing. I need to play a guitar, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, two Schecter Alnico Hamburglers. Okay. Um, and we have call tab here. Volume. It might be volume. What, what does it say? Um, Black Cherry, it says that. Um, <laughs> it says that the fretboard, or the fretboard on the other one, which we didn't say was Wenge, this is Rosewood, which is weird because that means they need CITES. Yeah. For a guitar in that price range, CITES, that feels weird. Yep. So apparently that's Rosewood. Maybe maybe they had this batch before all the problem they're using Possible. it right now. The the top is beautifully carved. It's an actual carved top with a three ply, I don't know, binding. I like I like that. I think it's a nice feature. It is nice. Schecter often goes overboard with abalone binding. For me that's too much. This is the Schecter look, but slightly taken down. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Um no locking tuners, but that's okay. Again, the guitar is 469 people. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can spot how many pieces of wood it has on the, okay, that's good. on the body. Um, one, two, hard to tell here. Most certainly three, but could be more. A minimum of three, which is totally fine. So if it looks three, you can always tell your friends it's three. That's what matters. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, nice little three position toggle. And we're gonna see how it's tuned. But before we do that, we'll stretch out the strings because I'm pretty sure they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I could feel that it was slipping. Um, I think at the distributor, which is cool where they're checking all the guitars and setting them up, doing that little bit should be part of the job. Nicer tuners, precise and firm, without being too sticky. She said. <laughs> get it, get it, penis, get it. Nice, firm, without being too sticky. What? It's a gay, it's a gay. It's your channel, Annie. You can say what you want. <laughs> well, you're still laughing, what? <laughs> no, no, I'm not laughing. It's nice and firm without being too sticky. Come on, not 12 years are not gonna watch this video. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a little bit mean here. Let's just do this again, let's see. We don't want to retune the whole video. Okay. Hey! Oh, the A's. The, we lost the A. The A's. Missing in action. Okay, neat. We are now on the uh, Houston Kettner Black Spirit. I'm in the freaking ads and I can never remember what the damn thing's called. <laughs> the Black Spirit. Uh, does, Espíritu do, Negro. Does, does 100. What? Espíritu Negro. Espíritu Negro? Muy Very good. What's 200? Good. Uh, 200. Did you have to lisp when I say that? Doscientos. 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 Black Negro de doscientos. <laughs> Very good. Black Spirit 200 then. Yeah. <laughs> Through the ox, and you're also hearing the uh, cab from the Tone King behind Mickey, um, mic'd with a Lewitt MTP 440. <laughs> I don't know 
what I'm playing, but action is fine. It's not really meant for jazz, but you could. Yeah, you could. No, no one's going to jazz on this. So let's see what happens if I pull this. Huge change. Yeah, usable. It's not a single coil. It's a more brittle sound. Hmm. It's not a strat. This is never going to turn into no. a strat, people. But for strumming, this is neater than this. Yeah, absolutely. It's like... You mentioned in some of your videos, it's good for a clean passage of your song yeah. or, or your... Single chord in the middle. Ah, oh, like that. Bit thin, but yeah. Let me see. But, yeah, but the character is more special in this combination. If I hit the bulk note on the lowest gain, add the bulk note blue on the table. Tad of gain helps it to yeah, come nice, out yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And hamburger. Those yeah. are decent sounds. Yeah, so pretty decent. Yeah. Off. And then in the back. All the dome heads have a screw in them, so that's good. Okay. Because usually on cheaper guitars, sometimes you don't have that. Yeah. Sure. Good, let's go to... That's the... Uh, that black thing. Black Spirit 200. Up on the uh, second channel. Missing a little, it's missing a little bit openness. Yeah, you know what I'm. Yeah, play absolutely. that. It's missing a little it's, bit. It's a tad boxy, maybe. Yes, yes. But the voices of the chord are heard easily. Yeah, yeah that's good. Sometimes it's like a little bit thinner than I expected. Maybe because it I'm feels as it's a little bit something on top of the sound, like a little bit of a blanket. Like yeah, lay constantly there. Yeah, it, I, I would like a tiny bit more clarity. Then again, we're coming from playing the mayonnaise or like super high end guitars. Hmm. This is 469. We always have to look at the price. Yeah, and we're, we're not even hitting the 500. Yeah, uh, this is euros. pretty damn impressive for the money. Um, I'm on the Ultra channel now, so. <laughs> Yeah. 
super evil. Pretty damn evil. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that, that'll, that'll work. Wait, I... Sound it's fantastic. I think it's so, that, so that, very that, good. That'll that'll work. Yeah. Um, let's move on into the uh, Emilia, okay. which is a, a tube amp for under six hundred bucks. <laughs> It feels I want to be a little bit closer to the tone. Single chord works. Maybe what I'd like to hear is a more um, explosive reaction when I hit the wheel pick. Maybe um, that's it. Let's go into the uh, Laney LA30BL. Very... Because that's how that amp is, so we roll that back a bit. Ah, wait. Two volumes. I don't like that, I'm sorry. Of yeah, or you can go roll it back and then. Okay, yeah, I get it, but wouldn't be my first choice. The kill switch trick too, because you can turn to zero one of the pickups and move. The... Yeah, okay. Not bad. <laughs> sound with that amp adding a delay from the aux and I use the uh, Bokner Ecstasy Blue Mini which right. is on the table here um, on the highest gain setting for a bleed push thing <laughs> Something in, in in the top end. It, it's it's also pushing everything too hard right now. Do you feel that constant sensation of clipping in the yeah. low frequencies or the mid low frequencies, and it hides the peak attack. And I think that makes you more la likely to want to play more and express yourself because yeah. you don't feel that explosion when you hit with the peak. <laughs> Use some Ketner now with that pedal. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, last test is the Lenny. All right, forgot what that is. With the Rev G3. That's what this guitar is made Absolutely. for. Absolutely, this, this is natural environment. Yeah, right model. now the guitar is like, I'm home, daddy, thank yeah. you. <laughs> It's still fun, I don't care if that's correct or not, I don't know. It's still fun. <laughs> Okay, that's fun. Yeah. That is as saturated as a sound can possibly get. That's where this baby is at home. Everything else it does, but that's what it wants to do. Probably it's super fine-tuned to match that kind of modern distortion that the Rev has. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna go with 469, hell yeah. No, Hellraiser, no, check the Omen. Omen, Omen. Omen. that's what that is. Hell, hell Omen. Um, yeah, uh, if you're in the market for a Heavy-ass guitar with a quilty top, under 500. I, I can't find a fault at it. It was a little bit dull for some sounds. Mm -hmm. Dull in the sense of, I would have liked more clarity and more high-end. And uh, on the leads with the tube amp in the lower range, it was pushing a little bit too hard. Hmm. But if this sound is what you're looking for, Get that Laney, get that pedal, get that guitar. Um, you're still under 1500. Yeah, it's an affordable choice for this sound. Maybe, maybe there are guitars that for a similar price or maybe a bit more have more sounds. That's the only possible flaw. Or, or, or only possible. Someone who's complaint. looking for the sound I just played, they need one sound. Yeah, that yeah, one. absolutely. So, okay. um, Glenn, by the way, is wrong about stuff, but. One of his favorite guitars, I think, is a Schecter, either Omen or Hellraiser, which he's used for years on many, many recordings. So uh, Glenn is a big Schecter, or as they say in French, Le Schecter fan. So uh, thanks, Mickey, for hanging out. We'll do one more of these. Um, animales al final. Animales al final. Oh, animales al final. See, I speak Le Spanish. <laughs> animales al final. <laughs> I don't like you.